Well, it's a very exciting day today because, of course, we celebrate uh, jobs. We celebrate employment. That's about hope. That's about moving out of poverty. That's about, I always have a saying here in the province, nothing stops a bullet like a job. Nothing puts food on your table like a job. And nothing gives you dignity like a job. And today is the day that we celebrate it. You know, mostly we focus on the unemployment number. And as you said, we've got the lowest unemployment rate in South Africa. But still, you know, I mean, we're in Mitchell's Plain at the moment. Moment, and uh, you get really excited about the businesses and the jobs that are coming out here in Mitchell's Plain and across our province. But of course, we all know there are those people who cannot find a job. And of course, that holds them back. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we focus 364 days of the year. We focus on enabling an environment to create jobs. We focus on that unemployment number because if we bring that down, that's how hope is created. That's how we pick, take people out of poverty. But today, we actually celebrate those people in this province that work. They work for all of us. Um, and so those people are our teachers and our nurses, our firemen. They're the people who bake the croissants in the morning for the tourism industry. They're the people who work at the airport. Um, you know, it's, it's everyone who's got a job here in this system. Those are the people we celebrate. And we say thank you. You know, we say thank you to them, uh, what they do. They obviously do it because they do it for themselves and for their family and for, you know, their own futures and so that they can put their family through university, their kids through university or, you know, build uh, security for themselves. But at the end of the day, we do celebrate them, every single one of them. And uh, the whole world is doing that across the world today. It's a special day today, Workers' Day. Yeah, absolutely. Alan, can you tell us what is the message the DA is going to be delivering today? So my message is quite clear. Uh, Today is about real jobs. You know, if I think about what we achieve here in the Western Cape, I mean, four out of five jobs, now just think about that number, four out of five jobs in South Africa in the last five years, we're talking about new net jobs in our country in five years, came from one province, and that's the Western Cape. 78.9% of all new jobs in our country in the last five years came from just one province. And uh, that shows that our policies work. And so, and it's about real jobs. It's not about EPWP jobs and government-created jobs. Government creates the enabling environment so that entrepreneurs start their businesses and grow their businesses. Investors come and say they want to build factories here. Uh, People want to open businesses here. People want to just come and live here because of the policies. And when they want to come and live here, what happens? They want to build a house. They want to you know, send their kids to school. They want to go and buy a dress. So the dressmaker gets a job. The teacher gets a job. The construction guy gets a job. The maintenance guy. So all of those things, that's the ecosystem. And that's what we push with our policies. And uh, you know, our policies are now a track record. And that's the number. Uh, and that's an unbelievable number. And it just shows you the, the actual stark difference in reality of what happens um, when a politician does their job and then a government does their job. Uh, then citizens get jobs because of that ecosystem. Quite frankly, on the 29th of May, those politicians that are not working, what happens when somebody doesn't do their job properly? Fire them. So I think we should fire the ANC on the 29th of May. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Absolutely. Alan, let's talk about, you spoke about the track record um, of creating jobs within the Western Cape. And maybe some people at home feel like it's a Western Cape phenomena, but we can replicate this across South Africa, right? Absolutely. This is not rocket science. You know, there are countries around the world that uh, are known for low unemployment rates, uh, are known for major opportunities. And that's what we're building here in the Western Cape. And so we can build this in South Africa. But that means you must help us rescue South Africa. And that happens on the 29th. And then we can take these policies and roll them out across every single province in our country and roll them out countrywide. And so that we are not known as the country with the highest youth unemployment rate in the world, uh, suddenly we become the country that's a country full of hope. Just like this province. We're, a, we're building a province of hope. That's why 150,000 people, South Africans, move here every single year. People come from other parts of this country every single year to come and look for opportunity in our province, for education opportunity, health opportunity, uh, because it works here. Um, And then they come and then they add to the ecosystem. And you know, the interesting thing is, people say, well, look at all the people coming here 
Oh, they're not going to take my job away. No, they're adding to the ecosystem. And why do we have the lowest unemployment rate? Because we have all these risk takers that come here. They want to be part of this ecosystem. And entrepreneurs come and investors come. And so our unemployment rate goes down. I'm, I can't wait for the next call to unemployment numbers. And we'll see it. I'm pretty certain we'll see it again. Another. We had a bumper tourism season. Unbelievable. Uh, we've broken all records. I mean, in our, our airport, uh, we had more than a million visitors uh, during the summer season. Now, that is a, a record. We've never had that before. About 200,000 more visitors than the previous record, which is in 2019 before uh, the pandemic. Um, in, in our agricultural sector, which is a hard sector because it's uh, determined by the weather and climate change, etc. But we've been seeing in the last five years double-digit growth numbers. Now the problem is the port because it, it's the congested space where we're trying to get product out, trying to grow. And so we've got a whole lot of plans about that. We want to we want to actually take power over policing the port, uh, the rail system, because those are the blockages now in the system. The economy is growing, jobs are being created, and we've got to remove those blockages, just like we're removing the energy blockage. Um, I think one of the biggest detractors or causalities of unemployment in our country over the last while has been um, the, the lack of electricity. And what happens? You can't even get 0.1% GDP growth rate in South Africa. That's not what's happening here. And what we're doing is we have now, which is not normally what a province should be doing, but now we've got a 5,700 megawatt plan. That plan funded by 7 billion rand behind it. And that's the enabling ecosystem so our municipalities can have power. As soon as you've got electricity, sustainable electricity, you don't have to think about it. You turn the switch on, the light goes on. You turn the machine on, the machine goes on. You turn the machine on that is uh, uh, supporting jobs and the economy, it goes on. We've got to fix it. Already in Cape Town, mitigating two levels of load shedding. Um, and now all of our municipalities across the province busy coming in with those plans. So it is super exciting. Uh, uh, we have now got a great track record. We are now going to celebrate the jobs that have been created. And we're going to say, but hang on a second, there's a whole lot of promise of a whole lot more. And we've got a, we've got a, a, a you know, our pledge for the next five years is let's add another 800,000 jobs in this province.